Aloha. Aloha. We're back with live coverage. You got Andy and, and Mike. Mike's joining me in the booth, and we're going to go into the top four. Top four. Yep. So we hope you appreciate we still got five of you in here. We appreciate you sticking through our lunch break. I enjoyed it. I did. I, I had like pizza. pizza. Pizza's never a bad thing. Can't go wrong. Nope. So we're going to get to our live top four in just a moment. Um, we hope you enjoyed this uh, little battle bond. Yeah, a little replay Trip there. through the past there. Um, I enjoyed the set. I'm definitely going to include packs of it in my chaos dress from now on. Absolutely, I already have three ready to just sit in the corner, just <laughs> just in case the time ever comes. Those yep. some Ravnica conspiracy, just cause. I love chaos dress. Yep. You never know what you're going to get. We right. keep meaning to do one of those uh, one of those junk rare drafts to the uh, the junk rare cube or something. I got my box ready. I to know. Go. So do I. We'll get everybody in on it eventually. But today it's standard. It is. Store championship. Store championship. This is the big one. There's a mat on the line. Um, it's a pretty nice looking mat. Got the full bowls on it. Yeah, some deck boxes, but those are going to the, your, uh, your top eight competitors. Yep. But yeah. We had 14 people today. So we're down to our top four. Uh, all these players went 2 0, and then. They did well enough in the third round. We're now here in the top four. Here we are. I believe we're going to see a red-black player against a green-white player. Right, right, right. Okay. Green-white angels, not something that's typically in the meta, at least right now. So this is going to be a nice... Yep. Uh, and we see here it's red-black mid-range, not uh, red-black aggro. So oh, we're gonna, I thought we this got was still hands. battle bond. No, we, we are, got some hands We are here. live, folks. Yeah, yeah. So we got some hands. We'll see... Uh, see who's going to keep here. We're on David. All right, so David, we got a couple of two lands, elves here. An elf, two, two lands, two elves, Planeswalker, and two Ballistas. Um, no, he only had a Hotship Oasis for green, so he's going to, I think it's a keep though. Yeah. And then Alex, we got four lands. Some Bomat Looks couriers. Like a Chain Whirler. Oh, Chain Whirler. And Bomat and Scrounger. Scrounger. So both of those are keep hands. Yeah, because David has the Land of War Elves to be able to play there, so... Now, Land of War Elves doesn't like Chain Whirlers. No, it doesn't. So we're going to... It'll be interesting to see how the play goes, or if he's able to proc off to get something before Chain Whirler comes in on turn three. Yep. Because he definitely wants to keep those around, because right. paying one life to get green every turn is not going to work well against a deck that's trying to no. swing the attack you down to... Trying to kill you quick is what you I'm got trying it. to say. You got yeah. there. I got there in the end. Yeah. All right, hoping for a forest or some yeah. sort of green, non-painful. All right, so we have a uh, we have a plains. He's gonna walk right in that chain whirler. Just gonna tap for green to get the other one out. Okay. I think he's got two. He's got another turn to make something happen. All right, so there's a list for one. He can keep the Bomac curry under control. He's got to find a way to save those elves. Because that is a, that's his mana source. Right that's now. all his green mana. Yeah. And if he, if Alex gets him off green, oh, that could be it. Soul score mage, soul scar mage in hand. <coughs> Loves being paired up with the chain whirler. Yeah, absolutely. Do all kinds of fun stuff. So for two mana though, I think, because right now chain whirler kills all. Everything. Kills David's board, so I think the, the only response, scrounger. Yeah. The only response David has is to be able to take the counter off of Ballista and just yeah. do one to probably the Bowmat. But in this board, the Soul the Soul Scar Mage, I don't think really enhances it very no. much. And I think that's why he's holding it back. There's yeah. there's not a real reason to play now. Get a threat on the board, a big threat, the three yeah. two, and we'll go from there. Right. But it's his game. He might play it different. Yep. Yeah. I just do not like the future for those elves. No. They don't. And any other time, that is a great, great opening hand. If you know, you've, you at least you have two creatures and you have two sources. Yep. But he's playing, he's playing red. There goes Alex, prove me wrong again. <laughs> so, Soul Scar Mage on the board. I'm sure David knows that he has to do something with the, uh, with them now. Right now, if you're playing standard, 
and you're playing one toughness creatures, you'd know turn three yep. they're likely to die. It's uh, another plains, I believe. Or is that a? F it's a forest. Forest. It's a forest. Okay. So he's got his green. Right now he's got five. I don't know what's in his hand right now. He had the planeswalker. He still has a Johnny. He in had his a hand. ballista, so because yep. he had two ballistas. Right. I'm not sure what the rest is. He drew the forest. We know that. I think right now he's just trying to see if he can save the elves. Yeah. No, he can pump up the ballista to a three-three. Right. He could go ahead and pump now. And kill. No, I'm sorry. He can only pump it up to a two-two. Two. Yeah, two-two. Because he can tap the yep. elves for land. Yeah. Pass the turn. But a 2-2 two -two will survive the Chain Whirler. Not well, though, because the Soul Scar yeah. Mage is going to take off so that counter. There's the Chain Whirler. Yep. Pumping up the Ballista to 2-2. Two -two. So Ch Chain Whirler is going to do a 1, which normally is no big deal. Right. Soul Scar Mage means that it loses one of those counters. So if he just pumps it, it will survive. If he pumps it and shoots... I think he's pumping and shooting here. I think he's targeting that. Ooh. Yep. So if he's going to lose it, he's going to take the uh, the mage out as well. All right. That was, that's a move. For a trade you knew he was going to have to make, that's... Right. He came out of it okay. He got the best he could out of so it. So right now we have Bowman, Bowman with, what, three exiles underneath? It's a fresh hand. Yep. A John, uh, cast out. A Johnny and, and a Lyra. He drew Lyra. Well, he's lost his mana sources for that Lyra, though. Yep. You know, that feels like a very similar <laughs> scenario. <laughs> I know a guy that was playing earlier yeah. had two Lyras in hand yeah, and ready could to not go. find the mana. All right, Ballist is out for one. That can actually kill a Bowman Courier and yeah. not get those three cards. You can lose that land. Trying to find something. No, he cycled the cast out and found a land. Okay. All right, good. So, he's got two planes, so any untapped land off the top gets him a Lyra. Right. As we saw earlier, that could be turns away. It c or not at all. It will probably come up to turn right before he dies. Yep. When it's too late. Just such a such a situation there. Now, I'm wondering uh, if he's going to shoot the Bomat Courier in response to the trigger. Right. Because Alex is down to one card left. And we know that's that's not a Hezzeret, right? He hasn't drawn into a Hezzeret. I don't. I haven't I seen one. So no. Okay. And maybe another mana. <coughs> Actually, he's got two cards. He's cycling through. Okay. So with the trigger on the stack for the big Bowman Courier, he's gonna. He's gonna poke. So he's blocking the Chain Whirler. Okay. Set blocks, then remove the counter. Take out. Okay. And Alex is gonna cash in that Courier. Right. Discards two lands, draws four fresh cards. This David takes one damage from the unblock courier. <coughs> and now Alex, fresh hand. David's still hoping to draw a land. Something. Just one. I wonder if that's going to be the story of this store championship. No Lyra land to play Lyra? In your hand. Yeah. Just <sighs> looking at you laughing. That's what happens every time that's, I put Nicole Bolas in my like. deck. That's what it felt like, yeah. I It'd always get Nicole Bolas, yeah. and I never get the mana. Yeah. Especially when you're running a deck that has 25 lands. But we're not going to talk about that. We're here now. Uh, we do have Land of War Elves. Land of War Elf is kind of mana. So he can play that now and hope that he doesn't have another... Yep, yeah, there it is. So just count on him not having another Chain Whirler. He did draw fresh new, four fresh new cards. Yeah. But he really doesn't really have another choice for that no. either. Because no. he wants to get the Lyra out. Lands. Looks like those four cards were two lands. Hezret Glory and Glorybringer. Bringer. Oh. Is that a Hezret there? Glorybringer's gonna. Glorybringer's mm -hmm. gonna keep him off the elf, off the Lyra mana. You think he's gonna exert and go ahead and? Yeah. Yep. You don't yeah. leave that. Yeah, land you don't leave up. it open. Yeah, he knows he's lost. You it. know he's hurting all lands. You don't leave that elf. This that is a this Hezret. This is a tough first round here, and we're only we're at twenty to fifteen, but this is yep down to five. Yeah. I guarantee he draws a land, cast Lyra. 
What do you think? What do you think? It's a land. What are the chances? It's a land. Not a land. Okay. Oh. Ballista for two. Now the Lord Bearer's tapped. It's exerted. So now he's just got to be able to deal with Scrounger, Bowmat. That's four damage right now. Yep. He can live. He could oh, live. Oh, no. He's at four. He's at four life. So... Three. Wow. He could set blocks and... Uh, well, he can shoot the Scrounger. Sca scavenger. Right. He can block the chain whirler yep. and take and one. And then shoot. Yep. But that's without Hazret. Exactly. But now we have Hazret on the field. That's going to do it. I think that's the scoop. There. Yep. Ah. There goes David's scoop. One away from Elira. That's going to be what the story, is, of the, uh, story of the tournament. What are the chances there? <laughs> Apparently pretty good. Very, very good. <laughs> For those of you in the chat, if you've ever played Elira... Did it resolve? Or no, not, not did that you it ever, did it resolve. Did, did you, you see your hand mana? or did you get to cast it? Yeah. Did you have two of them and have two <laughs> great plays over two turns? Mike, we appreciate you coming in here. No problem. Uh, Obviously you're in here because you didn't make the top four. What? I mean, I'd love to say otherwise. <laughs> but thank you for having a seat. Reese stepped outside. He's helping with the tournament again. No. And, uh, of course, I'm still sitting here. You're so. still being Andy, right? Yeah. Right here still, in the, right here in the back. I do, yeah. Um, so they're doing a bit of sideboard, and Alex's game plan is still going to be try to get in there fast. I think. So I don't know if David's running authority in the side. I'm sure he is. I just don't know how many copies he's going to want to bring in for this. Now, um, settle. Settle would be is great. Something Alex is probably worried about. Yep. We have inside information. We do. That settle is something he does not need to worry yeah. about. But I guarantee he's going to sideboard for right. it. He's going to go ahead and take the little elves out. And Thopter Arrest, I think I saw there. Brontodon. Oh, oh don't drop him. Oh, little Thrashing Brontodon. Little he's a little roll. bit high. A little bit high. Uh, Thopter Arrest, which is great for Hazret. Just shuts him off. Just Elves are gone. Yeah. Which oh, okay. they got him through that game kinda. They got him the yeah. mana he needed when he needed it, but definitely but it, a liability. It didn't let him put anything on the field. No. Other than the elves, which was just like putting mana on the field. Yep. Like destroyable mana. And then you're just playing into that chain whirler. Yeah, every time. And then hoping he doesn't have the Hazard, and sure enough it was sitting there under the cars. Yeah. That's rough. That's a rough play. I mean, I don't know if I'd call this a mid range. I feel like this is pretty beat him up. When Maybe. he played round one, it was very aggro. Yeah. He does have the high-end creatures, the expensive creatures. Right, right. But, yeah. It, it's playing pretty aggro. All right, so we've got Kari Zev there. Is that going in or coming out? I'm not sure. I believe that's to. coming in. Okay. So it looks like he's pushing more aggro if those are coming in. Well, I would look at David. We saw he was trying to ramp. If he's right. trying to ramp, he's playing big creatures. Right. So I want the Soul Scar Mages to be able to t whittle down his big creatures. Because right. aside from unlicensed disintegration, yeah. Doomfall. your damage maxes yeah. out at four. Yeah. You see, he moved in the Doomfall there because I, I'm to sure he knows. Yeah, I'm sure that he knows that Shalai is probably uh, going to be in his deck. Yeah. Anything that's running white generally has a Shalai just to give everybody hexproof. So Doomfall doesn't, Doomfall help. doesn't target. It doesn't. It targets, targets player. A, uh, each opponent. Not target opponent. Yeah. So it's like a commander card. Very that nice. That kind of screws us over in standard. So it's a really good answer to uh, Shalai. Very nice. It's kind of like settle the wreckage, gets you around some things, though, whereas that one will actually help. You know something I learned a while ago, Mike? Yeah. Words have meaning. They do. Yeah. And Just like when you're in school. It helps when you read the words to understand the meaning. You know, I also get told to read my cards a lot. It'd be weird, you know, once again we're back to some issues with Mike here. <laughs> I don't know how. It all comes full circle. <laughs> it's all full circle. A little bit of shuffling. Cyborg's done. Yep. I'm, I'm guessing that Dave will be on the play. Yeah, everybody shuffle. See, like that? That was me singing. We had to add music there. Now, just so you know, on a personal note, okay, I tend to wear a hat a lot. Yep. Because I like wearing my hats. So do I. We're in the top four. Normally, I wear my hat forward. 
but mine has turned around. Mine too. See, I, I wish too. Yeah, I said uh, I said during this. I think when it got more heated, I needed to go to you know full ash catch. That's right. You know, oh, just your ash catch. Yeah, I'm Lake and Hawk. All right. Yeah. So, two different generations. That's still r- good oh. things. Man, I hate these young kids. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's hat backwards. No one time. else gets. Yeah, no one else gets your references besides me though. We're in so the top four. Hat we are backwards. Hat backwards. It's getting real. If you're at home watching the stream and you're flip wearing your a hat, hat, you need to flip that thing. Come around. on now. If you wear it sideways, I mean, that's we that's can't up help to you. you. Yeah. All right. What do we got in the hand here? <laughs> but, but this is this is top four for the mat. All right. Looks like he's going to keep a hand with two Aether legs. hub and a Argulus Bloodfast, Unlicensed Disintegration, Scrap Heap, Scrap Heap, and Magnus. Blade? What's that back? Oh, Rekindling Phoenix Rekindling at the Phoenix. back. Yeah. Okay. Doctor Only two arrest. lands, but he's got plays. Yeah, he's good. Three three lands here. Oh, no. Oh, more than everything. That's six lands and a thought. All right, arrest. so he's not being greedy because he knows he wants to play the big stuff. So he's ramping himself. He just doesn't have any early plays other than the arrest. I will keep a one spell hand way before, before I, keep I keep a one land hand. Yep, absolutely. And he has removal in that hand. Right. And this, the Green White Angels deck, plays a lot uh, like a mid range. And yeah. so generally, you know, you have this, some of that bigger oh. stuff, you're going to want to keep that. That looked like a land on that he drew. But I think it was a cycling land. Yep. Which is okay. Yep. Because he could do that on uh, second turn there. Yeah. Refresh? Yeah. But we'll see what he gets. All right, eighth round. Here comes Scrounger. He does have the energy trigger, which yep. he probably mentioned. Just Short, shortcut, right? All right, so all right, so there's the cycle. Yep. All right, he wants to be able to draw something. So it's a land, but at least it's cycled. So he can cast out. Cast out's a good card to draw into. He so he's got Thought to Rest and Cast Out. And, oh, okay. So lots of removal. Lots of removal. So I'm sure he's happy because he can remove until he gets his big he- or his, his big hitters. Baffling and an excess- especially good yeah. answer to a Scrounger. Absolutely. Because it gets rid of it permanently. And there it goes. And Red just doesn't get rid of enchantments. Yep. So he's not going to get a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, no, Alex. It's gone. <laughs> it doesn't stay most, anywhere near here. Most white effects like that exile yeah, yeah, until exile it leaves. Until it leaves. Not this one you get a dinosaur it. back, but uh, a you know three three dinosaur doesn't. First really you gotta get rid of the baffling. Yeah, you end. gotta get rid of baffling end. Most people don't s- tend to touch no. the baffling end. Another so, scrap heap on there. Got the backup. David's got another. He's got Thopter or, or us. Servant of the conduit. So you can only play one card this turn. Alright, Heshep Oasis is out. The Conduit gives him mana. Yeah. Thopter Arrest deals with the threat. So there you go. So he does want to ramp. He oh. thinks he thinks he's been able, he's gone through enough of these lands now. He's hoping his next couple of draws. Maybe he's gonna maybe now he's waiting to get the Lyra he's instead try- of the land. Yep, he's trying to get to the fat part of the right. part of his deck. Lyra, Shalai, any of those uh That's right. Feel real good right about now. Earthshaker Kenra. Yep, Kenra's in hand. So Alex has drawn his aggro creature. Chandra in hand. Still sitting on three, three lands. lands. No chain whirler, so. And mm. he still has energy, I believe. He can play the blood fast. Right. And he can play a braid. And he can play the Kenra that Kenra, he just drew. Yeah. But he wants to get to that Chandra and Phoenix. Yeah. Swing for five. Second man. Well, Dave's cycling at end, uh, end on the turn. end turn. Yep. Sky he's Sovereign. Got, he's got six man on his turn. Hard he's going to play a land. Hearted, oh, Aether, Aether Sphere okay. Harvester. He has lifelink, so that's <coughs> that's the big uh, side end card to be able to protect yourself there. And he has the Servant of the as well. He can cast the Sky Sovereign. Do three damage to Kenner, the uh, Scrap Heap, the Scrounger. So he's debating because I don't think he can crew the Sky Sovereign. He can crew yeah, the Ether Sphere. Sky Sovereign is a crew of four, I believe. I'm oh, looking it the, up. Yeah, I'm you, looking got the, it up. you got the quick reference guide. Oh, well, not that quick. I got to type it. It's a the six slow five crew three. So yeah, crew he three. can't crew that. Okay. He can crew the Harvester. 
But by bringing it out, he can. It's a removal spell. Yeah, he can take That's out one it. of the threats. Yep. So he's gonna hold back, though. <coughs> well, he played the Ether Sphere, Kay. so he can equip and block, or crew and block. Crew and block. And that looks to be the plan. Alex is a magma spraying the servant to get it out. He'll respond by crewing, and then a braid takes care of the vehicle. I mean, I wouldn't call that a two for one, um, but it feels two like. Two one for ones. Yeah, two one for ones. So. And it got his attackers through. Right. So. Fair trade for Alex. David just hoping to get an angel. Just something. Needs a little bit of life here. He does have cast out. So if Alex has any tricks, he can respond to that. So he's considering the Sky Sovereign just to be able to deal with... Yeah. Yeah, that looks like the play. I'm thinking he takes out the scound Scrounger, yeah. Yep. No creatures in the graveyard to get it back. Alex still looking for that fourth land. Any other time, this would be gold for David. Just because he's not <laughs> hitting his land, he can't play his Phoenix, he can't... But so he's got pressure. He's got pressure, though. He's got pressure that David has not answered yet. And that's a Bomat Courier. Now, if Alex plays a Bomat Courier, right. he can't cast on Lelison's Disintegration. Right. And with that Sky Sovereign over there, if he does get a creature and attacks, Alex loses a Kenra. So he right. opted to go for the Bomat's Courier. Out, yeah. Now, if I'm playing... Every card that the courier exiles is my land. Yep. And I draw nothing but four <laughs> mana spells. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you play with the courier much? No, I don't. I, I've never been a courier fan. I, uh, I I have I think I have fifteen of them sitting in a in a box right now. I don't play with it much, but when I do, at the end of the game, I always have to see what it exiled. Yeah, just to see. Always what have to there, see what you could have had. Yep. So he's going to read Sky Sovereign here just to make sure it doesn't have any other uh, lasting effects on the battlefield. And check its crew cost. Well, if he attacks with it, he can kill something. Yep. It deals damage to a creature or a planeswalker. Plays yeah, the blood when it enters about, yeah, ETB or when, when it, it attacks. attacks. So Bloodfast should draw cards, but Alex doesn't have any black right now. So, I mean, at this point... Um, do do you want the Lyra or do you want a glory bringer? You want the Lyra for the the uh the life, but do you want the glory bringer to remove? And right now he's not really sitting on much here. He's got two removal cards. He can cast both in one turn. But yeah, he wants a creature. Yeah. He's gonna thought to arrest here. Okay, so the Kenra can no longer attack. It's on the battlefield, but it can't attack. Right. And that was end of turn. Upkeep on Alex's side. He's got the fourth land. He does have enough for the Phoenix, but I think he'll probably... He may hold on you to You play that. Chandra here. Yeah. He does have I Chandra think, in here. I think I play Chandra here. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. moving him back and forth. I, I know Three he's trying cards. to determine. Okay, yep, it'll be on the second main. We'll have to see what he does. Still no black mana. And we're out of energy for the Aether Hub, right? Yep. Okay, yep, Phoenix it is. Now with, Alex, with David here at 7 life, he needs answers. Yep. Cast out. Cast out. Okay, end of and, turn. And I go. misspoke. Thopter Arrest does remove from the battlefield. So, So okay, so Both it's no longer on gone. the battlefield. Okay. Exiled until... Until the enchantment goes away. Removed. Which isn't <clears throat> going to happen. No. So they're just going to sit there. So now he's just got to worry about the uh, the blood fast. From well, being able to draw cards. And if Alex doesn't hit swamps, he doesn't have mana to draw. Yeah. And that's five mana to being tapped. Is, he, is that a Lyra coming down? Maybe. Did somebody get mana to cast Lyra today? That's impossible. Oh my god. That's gosh. impossible. <laughs> well, he's indicating that he has Lyra. Oh, Thrashing Thrashing Bronodon. Bronodon. And crew. There we go. Just 
killing the Bomac Courier. Now, is it a 5 6 or a 6 5? I can't remember. 5 6. 5 6. I'm double checking, but. There you go. And swinging 5 in the air. 6 5. S 6 in the air. Oh, man. Now, if only that had been. Lyra? That or an Aether Sphere Harvester. <laughs> and to get him some life back. Yeah. yeah. 6 is not a fun life total against no. a red deck. But he knows, and so he's kind of, I wouldn't say stabilizing, but he seems to be stabilizing here on the left side. He's getting there. Whereas Alex is running Alex pretty low. still has Chandra. He's still got Chandra, which is going to get played here. Yep. Now, I think I'm minus to kill the Bronodon. Absolutely. He's going to go ahead and pay to get rid of the blood fast. Yep. All right. Stop the card draw. It's always smart. So any of his big creatures cruise the Sky Sovereign. Oh, that's not that? big enough. Servant that's a servant. Yeah. So he can play it. I think he's going to hold to... Oh, no, never mind. There's no creatures on the other side, so there's he's going to hold anyway. But he's going to be... He the can fake the set at some point. The Chandra pluses to deal two damage. Yeah. And Alex has two draws to find a haste creature. That, just, that servant just needs one more power. Hashtag Oasis gives it the plus... Sorcery speed. Yeah. He can do it this he can turn race before it. Yeah, combat, he can just race though, and and that looks to be the play he's doing. Crew the... Yep. And that deals three damage to Chandra. Yeah. That's a good line. So he may have been upset at the, uh, the, the servant there for a second, but I think it helped... Yeah. To wow. Okay. And he was able to keep that. Look at that. Chef Six Oasis to eight. Because he sacrificed a chef at Dunes. The uh, Sky Sovereign may be the saving grace here. Yep. Oh, that what do we got here? Is not that having a black mana hurts him. He's got a Scrap Heap Scrounger, which can't block. Yep. And unlicensed disintegration. So Sky Sovereign is just going to yep. take down the Scrounger. He's going to take it in. Yep. It looks like you were right when you said he might have stabilized. Yeah. I did not think he was there. Because Alex is gassed. So he's... If Alex finds a swamp, then he gets into the finals. I believe. Because he unlicensed disintegrations the Sky Sovereign yeah. after it's crewed. Okay. So coming in for six again. Alex Whew. down to two. So now the servant is lethal next turn. Yep. Well, does he have the ability to <laughs> uh, hazard it off the top? That is not lethal though. It's one away, right? <laughs> or at six life? Yeah. He can hit for four, but he can't do the discard, which puts David to two. My goodness. And it means Hazard will be tapped. I'm glad my hat's backwards. <laughs> it needed to be. Okay. Got some of that good art, the uh, the Masterpiece Series art there on the side. Jake the Tech Guy likes the weird looking cards. He does. He said, I want this game to be more like Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Can we make it look weird? Except it's not even in English anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got Hazard on the battlefield. Yep. Opting to leave him back to block. Because unless David can pump the servant this turn, oh, that's on Sarah's wings. Oh, no, Lyra. Lyra. Okay, and there you go. Alex scoops. Wow. wow, game three. That, that was a redemption. That was tight. That was nice. Okay. One with six life. Whew. One just with twenty on the edge. and several, several creatures either on the battlefield or coming in for the next four turns. You don't see Sky Sovereign played very much anymore. No, you don't. But that but was his saving grace. <laughs> it's, a, it's still a heck of a creature when it's attacking. That's a nice vehicle. At this point, yeah, I would take Sky Sovereign over uh, Heart of Kieran. At least in this deck, because you're running <laughs> mid-range anyway. You might as well play late. Wow. So that one definitely came down to me, to Alex never finding that land in time yep. he never found a swamp or a black mana right and once he cast the blood fast the ether hub was done 
Yep. So that was a good game. Wow. I'm not messing with the sideboard much because I think I think they're they're pretty yeah they're both set, set. what's what's uh, what they're up against here. I don't know, Alex. Maybe looking to take a few things out or add some, but I I think he's I think they're both pretty happy. I know David's happy yeah. with what he has. Yeah. He just like anybody else. He just wants to hit that land. He did get Lyra out with with land enough to cast it. He did, which is surprising to me. I, I didn't, didn't think, think it was, was going to happen today. Yeah, I didn't think it was possible. I was all set at the end of the day to say, man, we saw Lyra's everywhere, but nobody got to cast her. We actually saw it. Once again, you're listening to other realms. You're watching. This isn't radio. See, yeah. I come from a radio background, so I did radio Listen for seven in. years. I know. You're watching it. The world has changed and different since I was in radio. It's even in color. I, <laughs> uh, that's exciting for you, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't have to get up and change the channel. <laughs> I just clicked. We're at other realms. Honolulu, yep. Hawaii. Honolulu, Hawaii. A local comic and game specialist. Uh, this is our store championship for Dominaria. It is. So, last... Big tournament that we're hosting here. Before the release before of Core 19. Core and we 19. are back to cores after how many years? The last core was f one of them. I think it was 17. No. I count the last core as Amonkhet. There you go. That felt pretty core to me. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That works. That works. They keep saying they're getting rid of stuff, and then they keep bringing it back. Land of War Elves was supposedly too good for standard, yet we're seeing it nowadays. But here she is. Yeah. Uh, kicked my butt. So. Well, between that and Steel Leaf uh, Champion... <laughs> They kicked your butt pretty good. Those Mike. are those are dangerous creatures. Three drop five four. Come on. Yeah. Come on. So shuffling up, dealing out their hands. All right, so looking at their opening hands for the deciding match, the winner of this will get into the finals and have a chance at the play mat. Yep. All right, so as we can see, neither one of them liked their hand. <laughs> it was just a bad all around. Yeah, so... Both taking a mulligan, starting the game with six cards instead of seven. Oh my goodness, during this mulligan, look who's slid into the chat. It's Canola Boy. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome All the back, way Canola Boy. From the land down under. I got a buddy of yours in the booth with me right now. Aloha, Canola Boy. Yeah, aloha. I got Aloha Rocketeer. Yeah, the Aloha Rocketeer, yeah. <laughs> so. There you go. Other Welcome rooms. back, Canola yeah. Boy. Glad to have you in here, man. Welcome. We are in the top four of our Dominaria Store Championship. We're on a double mulligan here. Well, I, I wouldn't call it a double mulligan. Each took the first took a mulligan. mulligan. Yes. So Alex deciding to keep. He's got Swamp on top. That eluded him last game. A couple of glory bringers. Yep. Uh, our and that, Scrap Heap. Yep. Not a bad hand. David, that looked like three lands. Oh, it's a mulligan. So he's going to mull to five. Ooh, that's not what you want to do. That's not when you're playing mid-range, nope. No. Now, Alex, two lands in hand, one on top, two glory bringers. Glory bringer costs five. I think he's greedy, but I think he knows he's playing against some... If I had to mulligan to six, that's a hand I keep. Yep. But I know I don't have a lot of early game. There's no Bomac Courier. Nope. I, he might have a Scrounger. I'm not sure. So but at least now he knows he has answers for for mid game. He knows he has a mid game. He just has to find his lands. Yep. For David having to go down to five lands, it, it's not a great feeling. No, I mean never is, especially not when you're trying to get into the finals. So this is our top four. After this, we're going to bring the finals, and that'll be the last round of coverage yep. for us. Uh, we appreciate. All you guys that have stuck with us through the day, we've had a couple of glitches. We broke for lunch. Thank you for joining them back in here in the quarter in the semifinals. Yep. So David, keeping this hand, three lands, cast out Thrashing Bronodon. All right. So he has answers for things, at least cast out. Yeah. 
And then if he really gets if he really gets stuck, he can uh, he can cycle the cast out and yeah. at least get himself another draw. And he's got a he's got so. a three four creature. He's fine. So he can stare at least off. for now. He can stare yeah. down the scrounger. Yep. It's okay. When draw and see what we got going. He's going to take a hit from it, but next turn he's got the blocker. Alex drew another land, Dar Dragon Skull Summit. Sorry, Ether Hub. It looked the same from up here. He already had the Dragon Skull. <laughs> All right, swing him for three. So Alex now has four lands. He needs that fifth one to get his Glorybringer train started. Yep. Cycling away one of his extra lands, David. Rather cycle the land than the cast out because he knows he has oh, things yeah. he wants to deal with later. Oh, yeah. He so. knows that cast out will have targets. Yep. So cast the Bronodon, and now next turn he'll have four mana for the yep. cast out. And Bronodon, good at blocking the Scrounger, and also in a pinch you can sack it. Is but not if he doesn't have mana. What was it? Our that would be. Was it Hour of Glory? It's the Hour that de exiles gods. I'm look. Hour of Glory might be right. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm racing. I'm racing. Uh, yep. Yeah, race the. Oh wait, there you go. Our, yeah, you, Jake he beat, beat me. You. He bet. I did. Get, I've got the name right. Jake beat me by seconds. He did seconds. <sighs> I'm gonna get you next time, bud. Yeah. It's hard to race somebody that's in the web. Right. He's he. It's like reboot. Do you remember reboot? Oh, man. No. That, what? <laughs> oh, I thought they dated me. I'm not going to start this. You ruined Cloak and Dagger for me last night. I'm not going to let you do it again. Oh, did you Did you remember <laughs> that the uh, that the father figure was the uh, <laughs> the imaginary friend? Oh, I remember the movie very well, Mike. Do you remember that he was a master sergeant in one scene, and then he was a colonel in another, and then a senior airman in another? That's pretty bad. That's a rule in Hollywood. They have to <laughs> they do have that. They have to change it. All right, so he's got... Three here. He's gonna use it to go ahead and get out the Goblin chain, chain whirler. whirler. That's a sad chain whirler. Yep. He just has to poke for one, and yeah. there it is. Yeah. He still looks happy though. Yep. I mean, that's a three-three on the field. Yeah. Alex they isn't upset an with it. Poke. Yep. It works. I'm pretty sure Alex knows that there are no more Land of War elves in the deck. Oh no! How? No, not possible. After he played it the first <laughs> round. Six mana, Johnny. A Johnny unyielding. Yeah, Can you ahead, pull that one up? Yeah, Jake? go ahead and pull that one up for us. Because I know I'm it has it. some I'm pretty. Racing. I know it has some pretty great effects. He's gonna beat you. I'll tell you when it happens. You might win. You might win. You might win. Nope, he got. Oh, mi by milliseconds. seconds. Milliseconds. Not even seconds. Oh man. He doesn't even have a keyboard. He just thinks it. All right. So a Johnny unyielding on the battlefield. Revealing cards, all permanents get to go in his hand. So he's got angels. He has uh, Angel of Inventions and Shalai. Angel, Angel of Sanction and Shalai. So he's going to give himself Hexproof. And he's got six mana to do it with. Yep. So. Are we still sitting on four for Alex so we don't have a glory bringer? Had this issue last game. Yeah, I'm sure he's upset. Yep. He, he would really like to play that, even just to get the hasty 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. A swing at a Johnny to kill him would have been really nice this turn. Yeah, I think so. As it is, David can either gain three life next turn, or he can just keep digging. Yep. So Alex showing some respect to the Johnny. Which, we saw this earlier, he was ignoring Karn. Because you're just trying to get yep. beat the opponent, not the planeswalker. Yep. So what was that? A lightning strike there on a Johnny. So he was able to get a Johnny off the board. Yeah, he, he had was. the strike in the hand. Yeah. So we have our angels there. Oh, three angels in a row. <laughs> Two sanctions. It is the name of the deck. Shalai. And a cast out. Yep. So we're. Hmm. Now it's a matter of which one. Yeah. Sanctions is the exile target permanent, but I know he probably wants to wait on something bigger to play that because he wants to pay to exile a big a big guy but he doesn't want it to be a hasty big guy so that's kind of the that's the hard part here and it's a three four so he's got to be thinking glory bringer he yeah. knows alex is stuck on four he knows he has spells for more than four yeah because otherwise he would have played him 
right. So, so he takes out the glory bringer. That. And that glory bringer is going to be gone until the angel leaves Chain the battlefield. Warlord. Chain warlord. Oh, jeez. It's all right. I got you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, if you can pull it up there, Jake. That's a good angel to show. There you go. I beat you to it on that one. It also has embalm. That was the other thing I forgot. So we do have the embalm, too. So it's an angel that helps twice. Yep. An embalm, different from eternalize. It's yep. the previous form. Yep. It comes back as a 3-4, not a 4-4. Four, four. Right. So Alex has five lands now. He's going to doom fall. Which will get him back to the chain whirler. Yep. And it prevents any embalming. Because David had to exile the creature. Right. Wow. Propane, propane. Came in with a thousand Whoa. bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, propane. I don't even know what to say. You know what? You can stay at home and watch us from now you on if that's how it's going to be. Propane and that's propane fine. accessories. <laughs> um... Can all ask how far through the championship are we? This is uh, one of our. Or these are two of our top four. So this is what. So the winner of this goes to the finals. Correct. So there you go. So we have one more round after, after this, this, and that'll be it. We'll probably get the winner in to talk with us. Yep. And, and we'll you'll know done. who won the mat. Oh. So Shalai is on the field now. So Shalai gives uh, him hexproof, planeswalkers and controls and other creatures, but it does not give Shalai hexproof, which is why it's now gone. Yeah. So. Angel of Sanctions, take away the glory bringer. Does he still have the cast out in hand, or is that gone now, too? He has cast out in hand. He has not cycled it. I think I'd probably play the angel. Oh, he does have Lyra. And a baffling end. Lyra baffling. pairs up well against the glory bringer. But I think he wants to exile glory bringer, so he Because he'll play the sanctions this turn. Baffling and get rid end of, and yeah. hold up the... Uh, baffling end is three mana, isn't it? Yep, is it three. Two? Yeah, uh, two. It's one, one and one white. Okay, so he opted for Lyra. He's got one mana up. Okay. Because he knows he has a turn to wait yeah. on Glorybringer. Now, sitting at five life, those turns are going to yeah. go fast. Yeah, Propan, thank you very yeah, much. That's, that's, that's Way to go. We appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it. I said I do too, but Mike doesn't <laughs> count that. Apparently, it's irrelevant. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. It's another one of the reasons I'm here. They sent me back here. <laughs> okay. All these people come here just to torment me. Just, yeah, the entire the entirety of the game is just to take you out. This All is right. actually just a mental game for you. <laughs> Everyone else out there is just having fun. There's nothing on the line for right? them. It's all just a matter of how well you can cope. <laughs> Your wife told us to do this. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. Monthly schedules. Do you know how often they come out? Every month. Every month? Every month. Propane says, slap hands. <laughs> Absolutely. We didn't slap each other's hands, <laughs> coincidentally. We slapped <laughs> our own hands together. All right, so we have, I believe cut that's to cut ribbons. to ribbons. And a lightning, lightning strike. strike. That's five damage. So Alex, not feeling very angelic today. Angel down. Coming in for three. Yep. Lyra, you were supposed to be the I hero. I know, you're the hero. So now it's going to have to be sanctions, unless he draws something in a ballista. He's got baffling end. And he's got the yeah. cast out. So but there see. is another glory ringer in his hand, is there not? There is. And he's also got cut to ribbons in the graveyard. So you can just ribbons. Yeah. Ribbons deal X damage for, what is it, two X and black two X. blacks? Yeah. So, on board, mm. without attacking, Alex has four damage. So this, so this is this is it. This is uh, niceties that are happening here. David and his angels put up a good on. fight. Yeah, they really did. And you know what? He did something today that no one else has been able to accomplish, and that is cast Lyra. I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't Not either. in my lifetime. And there's the handshake. Well played, gentlemen. So Alex will move on to the finals with his red-black mid-range deck. Trying to finish that cloak. 